good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today we have a brand new video on a pile of brand new custom slash fix up i say brand new but half of them i'm pretty sure you guys have already seen but you know what brad i haven't gotten my elite series 69 or my wwe ultimate edition shinsuke nakamura and bret hart so i'm gonna make this video and do my absolute best and just try to get over myself and get to those new figures no seriously guys i want my elite series 69 guys because i have a lot new like not only are we going to review the full set i don't care how many people put out reviews i think i'm going to review the entire set anyways i also have some fix-up ideas for all of those i also have some some cool some cool ideas for videos but i can't get to them because i don't have my freaking figures here yet and it's really upsetting and people always get theirs first other people are more special than me that is why they get the figures first you know guys i'm just a regular old trash wwe action figure youtuber over here just you know just trying to make some content can't push it out because i don't have the figures yet and by the time i do get them you guys won't even give a shit so prove me wrong and when i get the figures watch anyways but besides the point guys let's get into this this freaking pile right here it's not as big as i wanted it to be i tried to add them up some stuff is in here that you guys have not seen like yesterday if you guys do you guys have an ollie's i went to ollie's and i picked up these two SummerSlam matt hardy's for literally eight bucks my boy rod hit me up he said brad you need to go over there to the ollie's because they have some uh, some SummerSlam action figures from wwe from 2017 they had dean they had edge and they had matt hardy no seth rollins i would have grabbed that but they did have these two matt hardys and i am in the process of making a couple customs if you guys can tell what they are please let me know down in the comment section below comment right now what do you think these are going to be but these are just work in progress and we're going to acetone the pants we're going to do some really cool stuff with them and i'm excited for that but there is matt hardys and slash whoever the hell this is going to end up being let me know down in the comment section below who you think it's going to be but there are those the next figure that i want to show you guys i posted it on my uh, my community tab if you guys did see but it is this custom elite cedric alexander and you guys know i'm a big Cedric Alexander fan. I love him to death. It is a Spider-Man inspired attire. You guys can see here on the trunks, we got the red and blue, the silver and the black. On the gauntlet here, we do have the web design going around, all the way around. You got the CA logo on the back. You got all the good stuff going on. And uh, even on the gauntlet, there is some like uh, black laces there with the blue and silver tying it all together. You got the blue on the back of the knee pads, red faces, red kick pads, white outsoles. I did want to add some more details to the kick pads, like on the shoes, add some blue to the outsoles and possibly the feet and uh, possibly add some stuff to the kick pads but I really like this solid red look I like the way that turned out and uh, people were saying you know it has the Black Panther necklace on it still but he actually wore a couple of attires I'm pretty sure that still had that Black Panther design on there the attire where he wore the necklace design on the trunks actually I'm not sure if the other one he wore was Black Panther inspired I didn't know if it was if it was supposed to be Black Panther inspired but I went ahead and left the necklace style design just because it looked good anyway ways and I don't know I, I liked it also I know a lot of people are going to say add some stuff to the kick pads MDT and I don't know man I really like it I wanted to use as less paint as possible so that is why I left them blank and you know I wanted to use it for the pick pad we also tied it together with the red necklace that you know his signature necklace he always wears and he approved it on Twitter himself as you guys can see there he approved it he liked it I also still need to add the fade to the hair there but Cedric Alexander did approve it and it was so cool because he's actually interacted with me on Twitter a couple times now so you know it just makes me mark out even harder for him when I see him in the ring. But we also switched out the torso for the good Kofi Kingston style torso from the old figures. And it looks great. Really happy with this Cedric Alexander figure. And it's badassery. So we got the Cedric Alexander. The next fix up that we have, guys, is on my United States champion, the MDT United States champion, Zach, R Zach Ryder. Jack Swagger. The MDT United States champion, Jack Swagger, here in the USA attire. He is the US champion. And what I did was just switched out the boots. You guys know that he does have these style boots. So I took my Hall of of champions batista and i switched out the boots and put them over here and the reds don't match the best with the singlet you guys can see this is more of an orangish red but on the title belt you guys can see here it really matches well and uh, i wanted him to have that america attire you know he was the masked man he got unmasked by shelton benjamin at the royal rumble but that did not you know hinder him he ended up winning the u.s title anyways and uh, here he is a part of mdt live as u.s champion and i think the red boots really tie in nicely man i really like it i thought about adding some blue into the boots but we'll have to see about that again i like to use as less paint as possible when making fix-ups that way you can pose them around and not have to worry about them chipping and things of that nature it's very important so what i wanted to show you guys is uh this is also kind of a fix-up i mean you got the black boots from batista so uh switching these over obviously it makes the batista more boring but i already have like three figures looking like uh you know the the stock hall of champions target exclusive batista so switching those boots out gave me a new look for batista so i kind of like that maybe i can come in here and color these black or something just to give it 
bit of more even, you know, different look. But there is that, and I wanted to set up the stable right here, guys. We have a new stable on MDT Live. You guys already knew that, but you thought it was the masked man. It ultimately is Jack Swagger now. So if we add our members of this stable, you'll have MVP, and there we go in his red and blue attire. And then we have the final member, Zack Ryder. And you guys will remember in WWE Action Figure Surgery from a couple days ago, if you guys missed that, I actually fixed this figure up. Can you guys tell what I did? I fixed it up and made it a whole lot better. Like, holy crap, this Zack Ryder looks so good now. Remember in Action Figure Surgery, the Zack Ryder head was sitting way too low on the torso. It looked very odd, and the rip legs looked odd, and so the arms were pretty loose. So what I did was went back to the original biceps that the figure had on it because the, the arms were pretty freaking loose. So I fixed that. I then took the head scan off, added a piece of paper inside the head scan so that it sat higher, and then I switched out his thighs with Bobby Roode thighs, and look at the difference now. He doesn't have these massive jack legs. He actually has legs that look like Zack Ryder. He doesn't have the black tape, but that doesn't really bother me that much. And so, now this Zack Ryder looks clean AF, guys, and you guys remember on Extra Figure Surgery, I talked about the headband. I know you guys are thinking, if you didn't watch that figure surgery, then you definitely need to go check that out. But anyways, I knew you guys would be like, but the Jack Ryder head scan has the pink headband, man. No, I'm going to go in here. I'm going to customize it. And then it will be, you know, red, white, or blue, or possibly all three. And this Zack Ryder will look really good. I really like the way this came out now with the switched out legs. And putting that piece of paper in the head scan makes it sit a lot higher. And it looks just like Zack Ryder, man. I'm like marking out with this figure. I, I love Zack Ryder, and I love the way this figure came out. And now we have a new stable on MDT Live right there. If you guys didn't know, they are 100% American. All three men in their decked out US gear. We got Jack Swagger, the United States champion, and now who knows what the hell is going to go down on MDT Live, guys. They look good. They look great. And again, I'm really happy with the way Zack Ryder turned out. Looks fantastic. Got woo 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 on the butt cheeks. You got the nice, the boots that we fixed up forever ago on figure surgery. And I'm going to get started on this, uh, this head scan. We're going to paint this up. I may add a beard, but I kind of like the clean look, man. I think that's probably the best Zack Ryder head scan we've ever gotten. And once I paint up the headband, I mean, it's going to be beautiful. So there is 100% American. They look fantastic. And the last three, you guys already saw this on Action Figure Surgery as well. If you guys missed it, then uh, here it is again. Again, some of these you've seen before. But we switched out the arms with older Rey Mysterio arms. We put on the gauntlets from Elite Series 67 Rey. And then we added some black gloves, and it looks perfect. Now, I really want my Elite Series 69 Rey. I'm going to do some fix-ups on it, and we're going to put those in videos. We're going to do some surgery on that one, and it's going to look great. I really love the way this figure feels, guys. It's probably one of the best figures ever. Its posability is, uh, like, outrageous. It also has really tight joints, and it looks great. I really am happy with it. Again, I could probably, uh, switching out the shoulders will probably give it an even better look, but I'm not complaining. I really like it. It gives it a different feel. So there's Rey Mysterio. And then our last two figures, guys, you saw, you saw sort of saw the Bobby Roode. Here it is. It's basically a Bobby Roode Elite with Zack Ryder legs. It makes him actually probably as tall as he's supposed to be. You guys know that he kind of had like a short look to him, but now it actually has uh, the Bobby Roode height. I do believe he's like 6'3 or so, maybe even taller. So Bobby Roode looks good now. He may be 6'2. I, I don't know, Brad. I, I'm, I'm stupid. But there's Bobby Roode. Very easy stuff. And he has black tape on now. Now he looks even more like his twin brother, Triple H. But there's Bobby Roode. Nothing crazy again just a thigh switch it made the Zack Ryder look a lot better and the Bobby Roode totally looks good too and the last figure that we have to show guys is this Elite 61 AJ Styles and this is a work in progress I'm still going to switch out the arms and I'm going to paint up this uh these tights you guys see there I've already kind of started it I've added blue lines to the crotch instead of the red and I'm going to take all the red off this figure and all the uh yeah all the blue and red on these logos I'm going to paint them the royal blue color and then I'm going to have like my own like custom AJ Styles with different decals painted up in blue. So it'll kind of look like that commission I had a long, long time ago. If you guys have been with the channel for a long time, you'll remember it has like a black and royal blue and silver attire. That's probably what I'm going to go with, but it'll be different because uh, I've never seen anybody paint up this these tights in that way. So we'll see how that looks. But that is all of the custom slash fix-ups that I have to show you guys. Again, I'm waiting on my Elite Series 69. Hopefully, it'll be here today. And if it's here today, then uh, we'll get those reviews started. Maybe a double upload day if we get those figures in here. I'm also waiting on my Ultimate Edition, but I would love to know your thoughts down below, guys. What do you think of the fix-up? I really do love the Zack Ryder. This Zack Ryder is instantly, I think it's one of like my favorite fix-ups now. It just looks so clean that raising up that head scan made it look so much better, like crazy better compared to how it looked, and the legs look a lot better, too. That figure had way too jacked of legs, and it looks a lot better now. So thank God it was on ball joints, so it made it very easy to make. 
and uh, all we have to do now is paint up that headband but again I really want my Elite Series 69 I need my Ultimate Edition so that we can review these figures and then I have more video ideas to do once uh, once those figures get here I know we're doing some surgery I know we have some fix ups to do I know we have some customization to fix up and I have some figure shots ideas for Instagram that I want to do with some of the accessories that we're getting so I hopefully they come in today or um, if they don't come in today that's what sucks they're not going to deliver on Sunday so if they don't come today then uh, I'm not going to get them until Monday and that just pushes it back and so that sucks you know so I'm just uh I'm just sitting here, hopefully it arrives, maybe by the time you're seeing this they already have, maybe uh, I can let you guys know that we got it and the reviews are coming and uh, maybe I've already posted a review by the time you're seeing this, but the only way we'll find out is if we sit back, wait on the mailman and just chill, but thank you guys for watching, comment down below what you think of the Cedric, also what you think of the Zack Ryder, it looks 10 times better, you know, guess the customs down below, what do you think of 100% American stable over there on MDT Live, would love to know your thoughts on that as well, but thank you guys for watching, subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE. WWE action figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.